So I had an artist reception for my art scholars and that was to unveil the work that they created in the class. The assignment was to create a visual representation of a poem written by an African American poet. So it was a really good project for them to just get the culture um, and to get an understanding of just like past and present um, issues that are happening in the African American community. And then there was a black box experience that I curated that showed visuals along with the spoken word that talked about the parallels between the past and present um, oppression and issues that are happening also in the African American community. And they were in there for about three minutes or so and they were able to be a part of a immersive exhibit. So I uh, was responsible for the soul food tasting. In the evening, I had several mentees working with me, uh, one of which introduced me to our caterer that we used for the meat that was served for the evening. We invited parents of our mentees that helped, that were on the committee, and then each committee member was given two invitations to invite scholars that were not African American so that their friends who were not African American could get an, uh, a soul food tasting experience, and they may or may not have been familiar with the food. Also covered in that reception was the history of some of the food that's consumed and why it's considered soul food. We had a Black History Assembly for all of our scholars. The one of the guests, she was a member of a local church here, and she sang the Black National Anthem, which was Lift Every Voice and Sing. We also had our high school drill team to, to step to pay homage to Black sororities and fraternities. And we had, we had a local poet, his name was Keith Price, and he created personal poems about uh, black culture, black experience, and even growing up in South Dallas. We thought this was an important thing to do because our demographics are 97% Hispanic and 3% African American. And a lot of the time, the other minorities do not have the opportunity to learn about their culture or have that be present on their campus. So we took this as an opportunity to expose our other minorities to the minorities that don't always get the attention. And we just thought this was a really great program to put on to show that we hear you and we care about you know, exposing everyone to the cultures around us.